It's the forgotten archaeology of Greenland, and what it means could shake the foundations of everything we think we know about our past. But before we dive into this icy mystery, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Here at The Ancient Files, we follow the trail's history left behind, and the ones it tried to erase. Let's begin. Greenland is the largest island on Earth, and one of the least explored. Over 80% of it is locked under thick glacial ice, some parts nearly two miles deep. For centuries, scholars dismissed it as too hostile, too barren, to have ever supported ancient civilizations. But in the last few decades, that perception has started to crack, just like the ice sheets hiding what lies beneath. In 2016, a team analyzing satellite data noticed something unusual in the southeastern ice fields. Rectangular shapes, oddly symmetrical, peaking just beneath the surface. These were not random ridges or natural landforms. These looked like structures, grid-like layouts, linear patterns too precise to be accidental. Skeptics said it was pareidolia, our tendency to see patterns where none exist, but the story didn't end there. Ice core samples drilled nearby revealed traces of charcoal, fragments of worked bone, even rudimentary tools, artifacts buried beneath thousands of years of ice. How did they get there? Who left them? Carbon dating placed some samples at over 4,500 years old, long before the arrival of the Norse or the Inuit. So, who were these people? We don't know. We don't even have a name. But the deeper we dig, literally and figuratively, the stranger the story gets. Let's jump forward to the late 90s AD. Eric the Red, exiled from Iceland, establishes a Norse colony on Greenland's southern coast. They bring livestock, build churches, and for centuries, the Greenland Norse thrive in what we now call the Medieval Warm Period. Then, by the 1400s, they vanish. No signs of war, no mass death, just empty homes, empty churches, and an eerie silence. Tools left behind, buildings abandoned, as if one day they simply walked away and never returned. But why? Historians often blame climate change or isolation, but some theories suggest a more chilling possibility that the Norse discovered something they weren't meant to find. There are scattered Norse records, cryptic, fragmented, of strange ruins they came across in the interior. Circular stone formations with unknown symbols, stone chambers cut into the rock with no known purpose or origin. These were not Norse. They were not Inuit. They were something else, and that something might be much older. Still with me? Smash that like button if your curiosity is officially piqued, and drop an ice. Ice emoji in the comments if you think Greenland is hiding more than we've been told. Now, let's talk maps. You've probably heard of the Peary Race map. Drawn in 1513, it shows the coasts of South America and Africa with stunning accuracy, and includes parts of Greenland and Antarctica with no ice. Let me say that again. Maps from over 500 years ago show regions that have been under ice for millennia. The Orontaeus Phineus map from 1531 goes even further, depicting Greenland as two large land masses with rivers, mountain ranges, and estuaries, features only discovered by satellite imagery in the 20th century. Where did this knowledge come from? Historians argue these maps may be based on older charts, long-lost records from ancient seafaring civilizations whose reach extended farther than we ever imagined. What if those civilizations knew Greenland before the ice? What if they left something behind? Fast forward to modern day. Ground-penetrating radar and LIDAR scans are painting a picture we were never supposed to see. Deep beneath the ice are patterns, rectangular foundations, tunnels, and chambers. Some are aligned to celestial bodies. Others appear metallic, defying explanation. 
In 2018, a joint team of European researchers began studying one of these anomalies, until suddenly their expedition was quietly shut down. No official reason, no follow-up. Reports surfaced of strange electromagnetic interference in the area, equipment failing, signals jammed, and then radio silence. To this day, that site remains sealed. Why? If this was just rock and ice, why stop the research? We've seen it before in places like Antarctica, like the Amazon. Every time evidence arises of advanced knowledge before recorded history, something seems to push back. Could Greenland be another case? Is it a gateway to a lost world, a civilization swallowed by ice and forgotten on purpose? If so, why was it hidden? Was it to protect us from the truth or to protect someone else from us? And here's something that should really make you think. If a civilization did exist here before the ice, how advanced were they? Did they simply survive in the cold? Or were they here before the cold itself? Because the last time Greenland was mostly ice-free was over 100,000 years ago. Let that sink in. If these ruins, artifacts, and maps are genuine, if even some of this evidence is real, then our history isn't just incomplete, it's deliberately obscured. If history is a puzzle, Greenland might be its most critical missing piece, and we're only beginning to understand what's beneath the surface. Mainstream archaeology may never touch this topic, but here at the Ancient Files, we go where others won't. So hit that subscribe button and join us on this journey into the lost chapters of human history. Share your thoughts in the comments. Was Greenland once home to an ancient civilization? Or are we simply chasing shadows on the ice? One thing is certain, the truth is not frozen. It's waiting to be thawed.